What's up you guys, this is Professor Ron with OneHourProfessor.com and you today have found this video, you're either here because you are unemployed and looking for work, you are you know, at a soul-sucking corporate job and trust me, I know that pain, I went through that myself, or maybe you're just in a situation to where you stumbled on this video, you're looking for some extra, extra work from home stuff to make a little bit of extra money, regardless of your situation. You are here because you are looking for legitimate work from home jobs. And by the end of this video, I am going to give you a list of 10 of them that can make you over $100 per day. Now I do want to say that I'm not going to give you guys like a typical, not very good list here, you know, and talk about go fill out surveys and that sort of stuff. That's not what this list is at all. Uh, this is 10 legitimate jobs that you could do from home and make, you know, hopefully over a hundred dollars a day. And I want to let you know, I've done some of these myself, so I know that they are legitimate. And that being said, I just want to say before we get started, make sure that you stay till the end, you guys. I'm going to go through 10 different options here, but you know, you never know, number eight or number nine might be the right one for you. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go! So number one in the first job idea is to start off with transcription, captioning, or translation services, okay? Now I started with this one because it's actually a very low barrier to entry. Basically, if you can hear things, if you can hear audio, and you are able to type you can pretty much do this job. Now, transcription and captioning. Transcription usually is going to be focused on audio files. Uh, there are a lot of different types of transcription that's out there. There's medical transcription, which you need to understand some medical coding and lingo, but there's also general transcription. There's uh, legal transcription. There's a lot of different types of transcription, but really with that, all you're doing is listening to audio and typing as the people are saying things to log everything in text. You're doing that because, you know, using law as an example, people when they are going through like a deposition or they're using a court case going through everything, they need that stuff in text. They can't just play, you know, audio to the court. So that's why they need transcriptionists. In addition to that, there are captioning people. These are the individuals that usually with YouTube, uh, all the videos that you see, they usually have some types of captioning to them for the visually impaired. And YouTube does this automatically now and Google helps to do that. But the truth is, it's not really all that great. It's not all that accurate. It's reasonably accurate. And sometimes people want someone to really dive in and make sure that everything's correct. So they'll hire a caption uh, individual to help with that. And lastly is the translation. Now translation is just like what it says. You know, someone will be speaking in one language, let's say English, and someone wants to have everything in Spanish. So they say, hey, I need someone to do translation to put it into English first and then translate it over to Spanish. That pays more, takes a little bit more time, but a lot of people need that as well. Now, in terms of where you can find these jobs, there's really two places that I found that I think are very good. The first is rev.com, and this is a place that people can basically go to. They get a lot of jobs that come into them because they're very good at marketing, and they need translators or captionists or transcriptionists to fulfill these jobs. So going there is a great place. Again, the description in the video has that link. And then also you can go to upwork.com. Uh, that's a place that has a lot of freelance jobs, like a freelance jobs marketplace. And there's always a lot of jobs listed there. And again, the link is below. Number two is a blog writer. So this is something that I do quite a bit of. For those that don't know, I have a portfolio of websites, about seven different websites, that's my business. I hire writers all the time. And just so you know, I'm not hiring a writer right now, so don't ask. But I hire writers all the time. And these are individuals where I will basically give them a topic and say, I need you to write about this particular topic and I'll give you some type of training and that sort of thing so that you have an article to work off of and you would be writing content for me every single week. This is definitely in demand. I feel like a lot of people don't realize how good of an opportunity this is, but there are a lot of small businesses and websites that do what I do and writing takes time. And someone like myself, I'm too busy to handle that part of the business. I need to handle other parts of it. So I hire out my writing and a lot of other people do that as well. In terms of where you can find this work, there are a lot of different places, but two of my favorites are the Pro Blogger Job Board. And again, that link is in the description so you can check that out. That's just a place that has a lot of different listings from a lot of different website owners that are looking for writers. So it's great to start there. In addition, again, upwork.com. There are a lot of people that have websites and they are looking for writers actively. 
One very, very positive thing, if you're a US-based individual, your first language is English. So that is very important that you're fluent in English. And a lot of people are really looking for that skill. So just by speaking English and being able to write reasonably well in English, you'll have a leg up on most people. And I just wanna ask guys, if you can leave a comment, if you are an individual who has tried to do writing before or has done blog writing, give other people your tips below because I think it'd be really interesting to get your feedback on how that went for you. Number three is copywriters. Now copywriters is the next step up above a writer, right? This is for someone who's really good with grammar, punctuation, that sort of thing. And these are individuals that also work for these websites or organizations but what they do, the writers will submit their content and then the copywriter is above them and the copywriter will actually look over it, look over the grammar, look through the punctuation to make sure all is good. In that particular position, it's really good if you are, you know, you, you pay a lot of attention to details and you are really good with grammar and punctuation, those sort of things, because it's really important. You are the last line of defense to make sure that that website owner has good content on their website. Now, in terms of where to actually find these jobs, again, you can go to the Pro Blogger Job Board or Upwork.com. I don't mean to repeat Upwork and everyone, but they have a lot of good jobs listed there, so that's why I keep doing it. Number four is to become a virtual assistant. Now, you may be saying, well, what is a virtual assistant? Or maybe you haven't heard of this before. This is an individual that works from home and assists another individual with various different tasks. And it could be a lot of different things. The thing here is that you have to be good at following directions. It's very important. I have my own virtual assistant. She works with me. Her name is Mary. She's awesome. But basically, if you can follow directions, the individual like myself will give you a set of instructions and they just need you to follow those directions, follow those instructions, and be clear with everything that you're doing. Uh, end of the day, I have my virtual assistant give me a summary of the day, what happened, any questions, and we have worked together for three years now at this point. So this is kind of like an executive assistant, just virtually. In terms of finding work as a virtual assistant, there are a few places that I've included in the description of the video to help you. So the first is Upwork. Yes, Upwork again makes another appearance, but guys, it's really good. So you have to check that out. But there's also a thing uh, that is liking and subscribing this video. Sorry guys, I had to say it. Just please like and subscribe. But seriously, there is a place on uh, Facebook that is a virtual assistant uh, community of sorts on, as a Facebook group. That's also a really good place to go to find these types of jobs and also get advice. Number five is customer service. Now this is something that can usually be done remotely. And you gotta understand, there's a lot of different websites out there that do e-commerce. There's brick and mortar businesses that can, you know, they're taking calls over the phone, then you transfer them over. There's a lot of different types of customer service that's needed. And for this, you just need to be able to talk to people and be able to pay attention and follow directions. It's really not all that difficult, but there will be challenges along the way. To find these types of jobs, you can go to a website, smith.ai, again, link in the description, or you can go over to upwork.com. They have a lot of listings there as well. And number six is a graphic designer. Now this is for the artistically inclined people that are watching this. The ones that say, well, I can't just you know type all day or answer calls all day. If you wanna be a graphic designer, you wanna use Photoshop, those sorts of things, and create logos and imagery for different brands, this is a great opportunity for you. And to find work in this type of field, you can go to three different places. You can go to fiverr.com, that is a really good place. Uh, usually the jobs, they start off pretty cheap and, and such, but once you build your portfolio up, you can then start charging more money. In addition to that, again, upwork.com is, all, as always, a good place to look into. And then lastly, there's also a website called 99designs.com, which is kind of like a, a contest for graphic designers, but if you win the job, it actually pays pretty well. Number seven, and I wasn't sure if I should put this on, but I figured, you know what, it's probably a good idea because it is still work from home, it's just not sitting at a desk all day. And that is to become a driver, specifically in the gig share economy. Now hear me out for a second. I know that you know about Uber and Lyft, and we all know what those jobs are and what you need to do. But there's also another website called Instacart. This is where you will actually go, and I use this myself a lot. I love, love, love this service. This is where you will go and you will do grocery shopping for people and deliver those groceries to them, which is awesome. You can also do like DoorDash, Postmates. These are the ones where you will go, you will go to a restaurant, you'll pick up food for people and you will deliver it to their house. And one that you may have not heard of is called TaskRabbit. Now this is one that goes beyond just driving to a place. It's kind of like, you know, you can do these odds and end projects, handymen, those sort of things and help people out. An example would be someone may just say, hey, I need someone to help me move a couch. So you'll give them a quote and if they accept, you'll drive to their house, help them move the couch and then you'll leave and you'll get paid. 
Uh, but it could get more complicated than that, right? It could be, I need someone to install this toilet. So you go to the house, install the toilet. A lot of different possibilities there, but TaskRabbit is a good way to use some kind of low skilled labor to make extra money as well. Number eight, and I personally can't do this because I am not a numbers guy, but that is accounting. Now with accounting, you have to like and subscribe to the video, of course. But really, with accounting, you have to make sure that you're good with numbers, that you understand all the logistics of accounting, that you understand the tax code. But if you do, accounting is one of those things, really all you need is all the numbers and books, and you need to help with record keeping. So if you wanna do that from home, there are a lot of opportunities from that. Just like with a lot of the other listings that I've already given, you can go to upwork.com. I looked just before this video, there are quite a bit of accounting jobs listed there. So go ahead and check that out. Number nine is to become a video editor. And this is for individuals that can pay close attention to detail and enjoy diving into video and you know being a little bit creative, maybe throwing some edits in there that the individual who shot the video didn't know about. There are a lot of videos, you guys. Every video on YouTube had to be, well, most of them had to be edited and they need an editor to do it. That is why editors are so important. And quite frankly, there's a lot of work out there for them. In terms of looking for editing jobs, again, the best place that I could find, upwork.com. Just go straight in there. You will find a ton of different jobs listed for people, mostly on YouTube, looking to get someone to edit their videos. Number 10 is a web developer. And I just wanna say, I'm gonna throw one extra one in after this. So I'll give you a number 11. So stay tuned if you're still watching. Uh, but a web developer is an individual, basically they understand coding, they understand uh, you know, creating websites, or maybe they understand how to create code for software, whatever it may be, web developers are always in high demand. And again, you can go over to Upwork, a lot of different good jobs listed there. You can make quite a bit of money as a web developer if you're trained and know what you're doing. Number 11 is to become a consultant. And this is something that works really well. It worked for me personally, this is what I did, which is why I wanted to include it as an extra bonus for you guys. As a consultant, basically what you're doing is you are helping a business with whatever it is that you are an expert in. For me, I was able to do it to where I transitioned off of my full-time job into a consulting gig, and I was able to do that because I talked to my employer and let them know, hey, I'm gonna leave, but I'm open to consulting. They were happy to take me up on that offer, and you might be in a similar situation. So you could start off with your employer, and then if you're looking for more work beyond that and wanna make a full consulting business, which you can do, what you do then, just go over to Upwork. There's a lot of different job listings on things I have no idea about, but there's a lot of them there, and you can go there just to apply and see what you can get there as well. And that's it, you guys. Those are the 10, actually 11 different work from home jobs that you could do yourself and make over 100 hours per day. Now guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. And otherwise guys, thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.